definitely in, in mm. yes <laughs> yeah. but also uh, have this powerful overruling side you could say yeah yeah <coughs> And I can even see that if yeah, then that is in this life, that how many lives this will have played mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. mankind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I will wow. definitely have been in that position as well in past mm -hmm. lives, you know, also. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Wow, what a clear seeing. Mm. So something wants to come to peace. That's what I'm hearing. Yes. Yes. Mm. Wonderful. So from here, mm -hmm. how does it look from here? Um, from here, I can see I, I can see everything all, all the sides, and I noticed when I can also see my side of dominance or lifetimes that I have dominated, or you know then. Mm. Suddenly, I I can see me in the in the other even. 
the other is not my enemy, but the other is a reflection of me, somehow, like that. Mm. Wow. And then it was easier and softer to forgive. Not to... The seeing itself yeah. is, is forgiveness, if, yes, if you want to go with that word. Huh? It's like, yeah, it, it's it, like when it, it just drops, so then, then somehow yeah. something falls away. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 And it, it also, um, then there is no separation, the other and me, or yeah. the pointing yeah. to them, or yes. you know, then that falls, that all falls away. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Yeah. So, why would life? wire itself like that um, yeah. I, I, I can see that that I was a dominant mother but then the question is already why did you arrive there a mother that has this dominance, dominancy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So why would life do that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's always about seeing something here, not there. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah, but also what I can see is mm-hmm. life always finds a way to survive situations. Mm. So, you know, some systems go into dominance, others go into hiding, other systems mm. kind of always find a middle way. Of, you know, there's all the variety. Yes. I mean, you know, even with plants or animals, you see that every animal has, has their mm. place. You know, like we have horses down there and they always they know exactly the right distance you know there's one horse that doesn't allow the others to come close or it's like mm. it's wherever you go it's kind of it, life does that in a way mm. what i see mm-hmm. so then in my own experience as a as a human feminine mm-hmm. yeah, it's been definitely a survival mechanism to to make itself small to to kind of keep all on its uh, on its back foot Mm -hmm. to survive the environment you know when when we grow up you know with the teachers and the parents and mostly i mean i don't know if in every household but the father was the dominant person and the mother would Mm. kind of Mm -hmm. follow or you know just all these things so you know you you find your place Mm. to to survive all of that Mm -hmm. and then you know if there's violence in in the family system for example or whatever's going on you know Mm. you kind of wiggle your way around and then somehow you find yourself later on in so-called relationships where it just repeats itself constantly so there's kind of you know it's a natural way Mm -hmm. from where i look at least it's like oh Mm -hmm. wow this this is what this body had to do to find its place in Mm -hmm. in the family system in the 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 constellation in the Mm -hmm. yeah the constellation Mm -hmm. yeah yeah Mm -hmm. So nothing wrong with that, just to get that clear for, mm-hmm. for us. Yeah. yeah, and then, I mean, far out, for whatever reason, now it can see, wow, oh, wait a moment, it's actually, 
it's actually enough of that and is it mm -hmm. is it still necessary or how mm -hmm. how can we actually play how can we can we play house in a different way mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's that's how it sounds you know so yes that's, that's the interest huh? that's the interest yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. fantastic fantastic and we don't know how to do that that's also no. beautiful no, no but there's an interest so mm -hmm. that makes mm -hmm. it so makes it mm -hmm. curious and alive mm -hmm. yeah. so let's see you know how can we invite our partners or playmates and ourselves as because we know it's just all a reflection mm -hmm. you just yeah. said that yeah and let's just see you know how can we play maybe you know a bit differently mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Without having to work on anything. Exactly, because that's also very important. Whew, gosh, mm. yeah. Mm. That wanting to change, fix, or get mm. rid of that's mm. so deeply in there. Because, you know, we've, it's not always easy, that place where we find ourselves in, in, in society. No. no, no, it's not. No, at least not in this world that we live in. Mm. Mm. So maybe another question, what did your system get out of it to take this role on? And then you mean the role of... Um, um, the over rules side and the yes. powerlessness. Yes, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? Why would mm. the system do that? Um, I'm first blank. Or what comes up is that uh, at the at this moment, where, where this happened a few times in this week, mm. is actually that I speak out mm. what I want to say. I yeah. say it and I speak it out. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, I get overruled. So what I like to say or I say, then there's a kind of overpowering and it mm. doesn't get the space for what it has to say. Mm -hmm. And yet, I, I say it, but there is a huge force coming over. So, there's, so it it's is not, not a sense that, I, yeah, it is not received. That is, I think, okay. the word. Okay. It's not that I yeah. see myself hiding or, or yeah. playing, playing small. Mm -hmm. It's more that it is not received and a huge force is coming over me. Okay. So yeah, like, yeah. Is there I oh. feel then overpowered and overruled. Oh okay. although so, I although I I speak. Yeah. Yeah. So oh that's beautiful. Yeah. So now what would be interesting for me is mm -hmm. to find out how to speak to that other person. Mm -hmm. And you know what what would be needed to be received, you know? So how can I invite the other to receive mm -hmm. what I have to say? So, you know, mm -hmm. so playing together in a way. Mm -hmm. Like now I would like you to hear me and I can say, oh, Judith, I have to say something. So, da, 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 and then I go, you know, yeah, and yeah, you, yeah. You're already long gone, but I'm still going. I mean, we have that all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. These conversations happen oh, all the time, don't they? Mm -hmm. One starts, mm -hmm. and da 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 da. And you, yeah, yeah, and yesterday I did da da da, and there I'm gone already all over the place. And, and you're very kind because you're still there. But actually, it's like, oh my God, can she come to the point? Or what does she want from me? And at one point, you have enough. Mm -hmm. And you walk off or you don't listen anymore or you know just that usual so how can mm -hmm. we how can we mm, be with 
with each other because you notice. You notice immediately when the other is gone. Mm -hmm. you yeah, in this, in this case, it was already like, okay, all right. <laughs> Coming in. <laughs> no, you had to go. <laughs> Even in my way. <laughs> so, the interesting thing in this case was that it's about an issue that there was already so much anger on the other side ah, of, over something over an issue with a friend from me. Yeah. And that went also about his relationship in where he had to divorce from this woman. So Marta was, oh, no, yeah, I didn't want to mention him. And yeah, mm -hmm. there was a lot of anger. And okay. and my, my point was, because it was such a strong point of view about the other lady, and I wanted to bring in some nuance, some, mm. so I started to bring in a little bit an other perspective from, also from her side, in that there are always two in a relationship, so, and that couldn't be received, so there. Oh, <laughs> no. oh, yeah. you know? which makes so, sense. Yeah, and. Yeah, so and I, I, I really do understand your perspective of, of how, and it's already energetically, if you bring it, okay, but you energetically you, you are not totally in tune, then it can't, can't be received. That's exactly. clear right? for me, that's totally yes. clear for me. Yeah. Yet in this case, I felt that I just was bringing a kind of nuance, but that there was no room yeah. to to hear. Yeah, I totally understand. And I know in my own experience, you know, when there's an emotional charge charge in my system, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm kind of overriding it because for whatever reason I can't be present. I can't receive. That, you know, then I start maybe talking to if somebody's there <laughs> and and kind enough to listen, <laughs> mm -hmm. then, then every word I'm saying has actually that charge behind it, mm -hmm. especially if it's rage, but also sadness. Sadness is maybe a bit easier for us, but when there's a, uh, an excitement mm -hmm. behind it, mm -hmm. then every word I'm speaking comes already with, with that charge and the other mm -hmm. one feels it. Mm -hmm. So then if the other one uh, tries to bring, you know, l whatever in there, this charge, that emotional charge that is there is not met. So it starts to get louder. Mm. It's like, oh, you're not hearing me. Now I'm coming to you and you're my beloved and you still, you're not listening to me. And I get mm. even more upset. So what, I'm, what I've learned, I'm still learning, is especially when there's another one that is, might be interested to address that there's real anger, that there's an emotional charge, charge mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to invite, maybe, can we just be present with that? I'm, mm -hmm. I'm willing to listen to every word, but can we just be here? Mm, because there's a strong emotion, I can feel it. Mm -hmm. And I know every word I'm bringing, you know, kind will of not, uh, touch. will not, yeah, will not land. We, because we can actually only have conversations when there's no emotional charge going yes, on, whatever. Yes, Otherwise, it's a child screaming, kicking, crying, whatever. It's, mm -hmm. it's emotional. So words don't make sense there. As what makes sense is and depends on how strong it is. Mm. But you know, sometimes you can't even get close. You know, when there's a temper tantrum going on, you can't get close. You can be present, 
but you will not be able to get that child into your arms until it comes by itself after maybe a little while. Mm -hmm. But it also mm -hmm. doesn't want you to go. It wants yeah, to. It's both, huh? yeah. Yes, it's both. Mm -hmm. But you know, you kind of need to find a way how to, if you're interested, you know, mm -hmm. with a partner, we are normally interested. Mm -hmm. so, but does that make sense? It's like, yes. when, yes. yeah, when there's yes. an emotional charge, you can, it's nearly impossible to have a conversation. Yes, I know. In, in my experience. Yeah. 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 And then, you know, if you also want to be heard, good luck. Good not luck. going to happen. <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. No. And it's only judged. It's only... Yes, even exactly. it's even the next thing to be even more angry because absolutely it's, it's judge. all of yes all of a sudden you are in a fight even though it seems it was yeah. about something totally different yes yeah so a yes. real conversation with words can actually only happen when there is when we are no peace. charge yeah when we're at exactly. peace yeah. yeah and then we're quiet <laughs> Yeah, then we don't need to talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> then we're not really, you know, but then we can play. You know, then we yeah. can talk about whatever. It doesn't matter. The words really yeah. don't matter. Yeah. Thank you. you oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very, yeah. very beautiful. Thank you for this conversation. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Can we just so have good one luck. moment? Can we have one moment yes. of silence together? And then I with pleasure. Mm. Oh, with pleasure, Judith. Mm. Thank you, Michael. So welcome. Thank you. Lots of love to Martin. I will. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
I just feel mm. like energetically holding your hand, like to ground a little bit or something. Oh, please feel free. Mm. How is it for you? Is it? Mm, I can feel the movements. Yeah. Mm. No big deal. No, somehow I, I then feel, I can feel that now from, oh my God, I've done something. I like, I, um, I did something wrong and yeah. now I did this and now I'm yeah. affecting other people with it. And then mm. for you. Yeah. That's really beautiful and profound what you're saying there, Eva, because that's how it is for most of us, for most human beings. And that's mm. where it feels separate. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, you just reaching out the way you do makes it so clear we are all in the same boat. You know, some of us feel a bit more, others a little less. It doesn't belong to anybody. Mm. Sensations and I mean all of it. To whom does it belong? Where does it come from? Oh yeah, yeah. I, just, I could suddenly feel how much it feels like, like a responsibility of 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 having to kind of like be in a certain way yeah. so that it's not yeah. a burden for other people. Yeah. If it's not, then yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. God, man, all of us know that. Mm. All of us. Yeah, yeah. Because even so it's, sometimes it feels like that, like. Uh, you know, we would even sometimes say that about each other or about like that it is oh. the world that functions in this way. Yes, yes, exactly. Up until now. Yeah. yeah it's definitely on the way to wire itself differently. Yeah, if there's, there's, there's really, you can't, there's nothing. Uh, like you, you can't help it. Nobody can help it if it's if something happens. Yeah. No, it's really, it's so nice. Actually, it's so it's so, it's freeing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a big relief, and so much, no more judgment about like so much. Yeah. Love, yeah. Love, yes. And That's love. when love comes in. Yeah. yeah. Softness, yeah. Softness, yeah. And the space to reach out, you know, so, ooh, when, when the system gets a bit confused, so, well, oh, can we just hang out for a moment? It's like, what is going on? I don't know. And that everybody yeah. is welcome, actually. Every, everything, everything. Every, everything. That's interested in this. Because, you know, there's also, for whatever reason, some systems mm, don't resonate with this frequency that, that our systems are exploring. So, you know, at some point it's maybe also healthy to say goodbye to those. Yeah, because then that's then taken care in that moment somehow for... The system of mm. exactly it says and doesn't say anything mm. about, but it's just like okay, I yeah, I need to kind of like give them yeah, this is my interest, yeah. and that's your interest, and they don't really go together. And it's so nice if it can ah. be like that, like absolutely, yeah, yeah. I love this one story uh, about Ramana. You know, he was. I mean, I just heard that story, but I, it, somehow it makes sense to me. He, he was sitting in, in his temple with some people who, who liked to be with him. And all of a sudden they heard these stones go, falling onto the, being thrown onto the roof. And so one looked out and asked well, what's going on. And so there were some thieves and they wanted to, to come in and steal what, was, what they had. And Ramana said, ah, oh, come on in and take what you want. And, but they said, no, no, you have to come out first, otherwise we don't feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, Ramana said, okay, let's, let's go out, let them take whatever they need to, what they want. 
and while they were coming out, some one of those thieves were hitting Ramana. And Ramana's friends got really upset and wanted to beat those people up. And for Ramana, it was different. He said, you know, they go along with their business and we do what we are interested in. If you're interested in, uh, and if, if your path is to, to steal from other people, then you've got to do that. If you're not interested in that, you just get out of the way, but you don't get involved with other people's business. And I, I love that. So it's like, mm, if somebody is not for whatever reason interested in what we are interested in, it's okay, bye. We don't have to hang there. We go our way, we go with what we are interested in. Mm. It's a nice story, isn't it? Yeah. It's also a little bit, doesn't Byron Katie also say something like that about? Yes, she does that yeah. too, yeah. Or everybody yeah. has, and you, you don't, yeah, like. Has their business. And yeah, it's the business. You go, yes, it's the business thing, yeah. yeah. It's none of, none of our business what other people do. Everybody has its journey, yeah. So whatever the sensations are, what we know is when the system feels separate, it's unbearable. When the system comes into community and gets a felt sense of being held there, everything calms down. It's very simple in a way. Just sometimes it needs only one, another one. Where it can rest, yeah, that is... Where it can rest, where it can come to peace again, yeah. But it doesn't belong to anybody. I can feel that. Mm, me too. Mm, thank you. Yeah, I feel really very strange. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah. Lots of us feel very strange. When you say that, then I can feel you again. Then I can feel you again somehow. Or feel like <laughs> I'm, you know. Thank you, Maike. <laughs> you so much. I think I feel just also, I feel so much love like this like uh, also a lot of like opening sensations like oh yeah 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 i know see and there's another thing you know our nervous systems always do these loops huh? they go out and explore a bit and then they have to go back into the old one and the old patterns and then they come out again and they and sometimes they go out a little bit too far and then they come back and, you know, so that's how they regulate. Mm -hmm. and that's how they learn. So it's all very, very natural. Somehow most of us have never heard about that or, you know, that's all information that's pretty, I mean, it's older already, but still it's, it's quite new. And we, 
just starting to get used to, to that kind of information. So nervous system will always do something that might feel weird, but it doesn't have anything to do with anything in the end. <laughs> At least that's my experience. <laughs> and for you, mm -hmm. does it feel somehow that um, uh, the system, it's actually maybe good to check because it feels um, not okay. <laughs> But somehow the system wants to check with you if it's doing something that it shouldn't do. Like, should it, is it going over boundaries? Or you know what I mean? Like, is it, like, I feels like I'm losing a little bit, um, a sort of like an idea of a reference point. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it just wants to check with you, I think, is if everything, if I'm doing something that's not okay. Mm, so that's a very young organization, huh? Yeah, that's not an adult organization. Yeah, so I can see that. I can see it's a very young organization, somehow sitting around. Yeah. And let me speak to that young organization. You haven't done anything wrong. All is well, my little sweetheart. All is well. You haven't done anything wrong. I love you. I love you very, very much. And you can ask again and again and again. You're always welcome. And I can see it's very hard for you to hear this. I can, I can see that. So check me out again and again. Okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I can really feel this, yeah. Yeah. I can feel, I can that, feel that, that too. It's really hearing it. Yeah. And it, because it does feel mm -hmm. immediately when, when it's like sometimes it goes too far and then I felt immediately like, oh, you know, I should monitor if I'm going too far because then it's my fault mm -hmm. if I, um, it has to kind of monitor because, but there is nobody, like I can't, yeah. Yeah, can't make a mistake, little one. Not possible. You can never make a mistake. It's not possible. You just play. Mm. Somehow, so much fear. Yeah, exactly. About I, I understand. When it's yeah. when it's like that, then it's just oh, it's all okay. You know, it's it's not such a. It's somehow it's really weird why it suddenly feels so a big deal. Now it switches from into adult. Can you see? So there's an adult who speaks all of this because you know you've seen it all, you know it all. But we're actually talking to a really young young one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a young one wouldn't speak like this, huh? No, young ones don't speak like this. They're just standing there with big eyes and, oh, I don't want to be shouted at. I don't want to be sent away. I, how do I do it right so that I can take the next breath? Okay. And that, I can feel it very much. I feel something here, like very... Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. And you're breathing. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. You've got a big fright. One time, or maybe yeah. more than one time. Mm. 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 <sighs> yeah, beautiful. Mm. And we are all here. We're all here. Mm. I can feel it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to you want to go on to the gallery view to to see if everybody is waving to you? Yeah, I will record I will pause the recording for a moment and I up. Every system is so sharp. We see exactly what's true, what's not true. We ah 
our senses are so sharp. So it's a big gift. I'm speaking on behalf of everyone. I know that. Thank you so much. Oh, I feel a huge. I think you're so awesome, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody. So very much like how you do all that always like this. I don't know. It's just so beautiful. So, yeah. Very yeah, for me it's like big, big gift. Likewise, for me too. Mm. I love you. Mm, I love you too. And I love all of you. <laughs> uh, okay. We have a whole a waiting list. So I'll go on. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, but it was important. I'm pretty sure everybody mm -hmm. uh, could see. So thank you for this. Mm -hmm. uh, no. <laughs> No. Can I okay? Where are you? Where are you, my darling? There you are. Yeah, you are my Found you. <laughs> Ciao. Hey. Sorry about that. Telephone. <laughs> 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 Telephone. Wait for it to finish. Sorry, can't do anything. Oh, no worries. This little part's had a big day. <laughs> Yeah, today she's she's shown up and expressed herself. Um, it 
in a pretty present um, I guess skillful way mm. and it was the and it was the showing up but it's the showing up and so it was like really a fabulous opportunity mm. to to do that to show up and mm. and not act out not yeah I related very much to Judith's um, sharing and also to Ava's. And I'm, you know, a little bit curious about, okay, how come this is, like I didn't have any, as soon as I got on, you know, I stuck my name on the list. And so there was knowing that, you know, that was clear, um, and I, it's not really clear, you know, what, yeah, just here. And I'm really aware of this little part, you know, the shaking and the, mm -hmm. yeah, so a bit teary now. Mm. Yeah, there's the sense. Last time I spoke with you, you said, you know, I know you've got my back. And now I'm experiencing, ah, oh, I know you've got my back. It's safe to, yeah. So there's a, a lot of discharge happening. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah. Like one of the one of the kind of precious gifts in what happened for me today, which I don't really need to go into, but was the opportunity mm -hmm. to explore. Um, you know, the edge of relating to somebody else as they are, not in accordance with my projections, or blah, 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 all that stuff. And it was, yeah, like a beautiful um, I, I'm just, I'm just so grateful for that. I'm sort of aware of a, you know, a, a, some kind of a barrier um, or some kind of a something <laughs> around, you know, and, it, and 
kind of love and vulnerability. Like, you know, it's, um, yeah. And, and aware of a little, you know, could be some little agenda, it'd be nice to get past that and then to just relax, <laughs> back, relax back into, oh, okay, we've got a lovely oh. little. <laughs> and a little pussycat who's, can you hear the cat? Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, I know there's more a sense of devotion, you know, to reality, which is the barrier, or, you know, whatever that word refers to yeah, reality. Yeah. And thankfulness that you know exactly what I'm talking about and you're there and it's all good, yeah. You know, how precious is that? How, what an amazing privilege. What, yeah. Feel more presence in my sort of solar plexus belly, top of the belly. Probably 
late this year. Sweetheart. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'll mute myself. Hi, Micah. Yes. Esther. Esther. Good to see you. Good to see you too. So, uh, yeah, I would love to sit in your presence with what's going on here now. Mm. At this moment, I feel that's, that's the, I don't know. <laughs> I like it's, that. I like that you don't know. <laughs> no, as if I can't come out of it or something like that. Um, it's just an yeah. freezing and then mm. I don't see it clear anymore. And yeah. <sighs> yeah. So maybe for a moment, nothing to do. Esther. Just for a moment, nothing to do. Nowhere to go. Just you and me and our most beautiful friends here. Yeah. This always, then it starts to run. If you this kind of whatever, yeah, only can move. run forever, you know. But I'm so let tired it, of running. Yeah, let it move right here. <sighs> yeah, there, there you go. Just let it move. Mm. See, my body is starting to move. Mm -hmm. yeah. So my body is moving for yours, so you don't even have to do that. I'm doing that. Yeah, that's, it, it feels as, as if it can't move at the moment. Mm -hmm. so that's, mm -hmm. Kind that you will make for me. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for, for acknowledging that. You know, sometimes we need somebody else to do it for us. Mm, feels very good. Especially in the neck. Yeah. Mm, so good. Mm. Yeah, because I have to learn to you know that I can deal with it on my own. Mm, and yeah. I don't need people for it. Yeah, it's bad. And also don't have to run anymore. Yeah. You know, um, can... Yeah. Just find a moment of rest. Yeah? You still playing guitar? Um, actually, I have an uh, 
what's the name? And inflammation in my shoulder now from the keto plane. Oh, so, no. Yeah, I had to stop for a while. <laughs> because it has to be so I can move my arm again. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you have a flute? Hmm? Do you have a flute? What a flute? A flute. Oh. No. Oh, I can do it by myself. But you can do it by yourself. Yeah, yeah you do that. <laughs> you do that. Thing. I do. <laughs> Good. I'm very happy to hear. <laughs> but I can uh, exercise my one of my hands. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. I always said I always get trouble when I touch a guitar, so... <laughs> Do you have a favorite song? No. No, special. You sing also, or you just whistle? I don't sing it. <laughs> you do sing it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not very well. <laughs> what do you sing? Just what, what's on the music. Yeah. I want to hear. Huh? Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's no song in my head at the moment, so... Oh, okay. And when you whistle, what do you whistle? When you... Yeah, something like that. You still play? Mm. What kind Every of music day. do you play? Oh, you know. Campfire what comes, sounds. What comes to mind? Uh. Um, more, more my own music. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Just some chords on the, on the guitar and then you know, some melodies come with that. Mm -hmm. well, I'm just curious now what, what that kind of shit in me is. <laughs> I feel I'm more present with it or it's maybe releasing a little bit. Mm. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's really nice to put your attention onto something else. Yeah, we get so, somehow, you know, we, we get so stuck with certain sensations when they are so strong. Huh? So, you know, playing a little bit something else, like whistling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I do, and then yeah, over exactly. over tuning the sounds. Actually, it's <laughs> exactly yeah. So that shifts that can shift the whole mood. It's a it's it sounds like a trick, but it's actually a natural thing, you know. When sometimes we need somebody else for that hmm, to just go somewhere. Well, it's not so serious. Mm -hmm. mm. And that's what we just did. We just played a little bit. Mm. Yeah, then we take a breath together. Yeah. Where's your, where's your cat? And he's sleeping uh, near the window. He's, 
He's sleeping at the window, yeah. He, he brought a mouse yesterday in the house. Ah, see, and there then you go. The mouse sneaks into the. It's still in it the was, house somewhere. Oh, uh, it was still alive? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I brought him some um, peanut butter. Mouses love it. And I want to check if he's still there. And then I had a look and I saw there were scratches and so. So <laughs> I hope he found a way out the house. <laughs> yeah. But I have to check it again in the afternoon or tomorrow if he's still there. Or oh. But that's also a good reason to keep up a little bit the mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how nice. Now you have a mouse. places. <laughs> You have a mouse and a cat. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a very sweet little mouse, better than rats, mm. you know. It's, yeah, I can handle this, rats. you know. I can handle this. <laughs> oh, how nice. Mm -mm. Yeah, it looks my garden becomes a little bit more alive now. Mm. If there are mouses and, you know, bees. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. Yeah. Mm. Mm, okay, my dear. Okay. Mm. 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 <laughs> yeah, exactly there. <laughs> okay. Ciao. Shall we? Sarfi <clears throat> would like to speak. And I will. Who? Sarfi. And it's under Sakib. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Sarfi. Hello. Hello. Hello, Sarfi. Oh. Nice to see you. I'm not a host. I'm going to come with myself here. Say again. Have I been muted? No, you're unmuted. You're fine. I can hear you. But could you move a bit more to the right? Good. Ah, fantastic. Yes, now I can see you. <laughs> I have a small question. I don't know if it's appropriate or not. Please, let's see. It's about you and your face. It's about my face? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Is that all right? Let's see. My face? My face is all right. <laughs> Last when I looked, at least. It so. changes remarkably. Mm. You talk to someone for a while, and then you, your face becomes very still, and you don't you stop blinking. You look like a bird of prey about to attack a vulture that's sitting on a branch. Maybe. <laughs> Not a vulture, maybe. Maybe a magpie or something else. Some bird. A bird. A bird that's um, doing something strange with a face. Mm. Like you are now. Mm. Like it's, it gets very serious and your eyes stop blinking and you, you seem to be scanning or looking at something beyond visibility. I want, yeah. My question is, what is it that you do at that point? Do you know I what think, I'm talking about? Yes, I know what you're talking about. I'm not doing <laughs> anything, Savi. Mm. Maybe that's what you notice. It's rare, I'm not doing anything. And I can, I can actually feel from the inside how everything relaxes. And it might look strange, but it actually relaxes from the inside. That's how it feels here. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you I very can, much for answering my no. question. Don't do anything special at that moment. No. Thank you for asking. <laughs> mm. <laughs> And Sandra would like to speak. 
who I could not hear. Sandra. I'm Sandra. Ah, yeah. oh, Sandra. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Michael. First of all, I read Varisha is uh, Varisha is her birthday, so happy birthday to her. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Varisha. <laughs> And um, there is no topic, just um, something, just my things to pu just put in my name, you know. Can you say something, Mike, so I can see you again, please? <laughs> yes. Hello, hello. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mike. It's like mm -hmm. sweet showering, uh, you know, like going through all the system. And there is just actually one topic coming up. Mm -hmm. You know, he always speaks about this inner field. And can you can you probably say something about that from your own experience? Because I'm going to work on Monday again. Mm -hmm. And so that will be, I will go into a complete different field. And um, my feeling is, you know, that it's very important to 
check in again, again and again with the breathing here and how it feels here. But maybe you, you know, to stay in this field also, not to be overtaken, overwhelmed by other energies. But maybe you can say something how it is mm. for you in your experience. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. You know about how the nervous system learns. Yeah. So it, it's it's regulating actually. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. again and again and again. So how I play here is when I feel any excitement or when I feel that the so-called outer world is is calling me in a way that it's unsettling. Mm -hmm. I'm inviting my, whenever it comes to mind. I am inviting myself to come back to fullness. Mm -hmm. again and again you know sometimes it, I'm just sitting down you know I'm working environment I I would go to the toilet you know because just to have a bit of time out when it's too much and okay what what is my interest what I what am I here for mm -hmm. just to come back here Maybe you feel you, you, get, you don't get a sense of your body anymore, you know, so you start with feet on the ground, bum on the chair. Or, you know. There are lots of tools. I know you have the tools. Yeah, yeah, but it, yeah. it's so good to hear it, you know. Yes. And, uh, yes. It really yeah. touches something in this system very deeply, so yeah. thank you so much. It's helpful. Yeah. yeah. So I would even go with having my favorite smell in the pocket, like little flower and essences or whatever it is. So, you know, when it's too much, just brings you, smell brings you directly back here. It goes so quickly into the brain, you know, it goes quickly. So a beautiful smell or maybe even a humming sound. Mm -hmm. So that you can feel the resonance in the body. body, to come back. body to come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the humming space, sound space. Can, yes. yes. Yeah, and the humming sound can be made also inside. So it Absolutely. does not have to be outside, Absolutely. you know. Yeah. 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 Squeezing. Squeezing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Smiling at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, or about the situation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So when, yeah. whenever it comes to mind, I would invite myself to come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Inner field, that's actually beautiful. Who said that, inner field? Uh, Eckhart Tolle. That was ah. Eckhart Tolle, you know, who ah, he speaks a lot about this inner field and oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it also is the, the power of now, but yeah. that it's so that you can feel it actually, you know, yes. and be, yeah. it's the felt uh -huh. sense. Yeah, exactly. Be rooted in that also so that you are not mm. overwhelmed from energies. Um, mm. I mean, we are all in those energy fields, you know, not be overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah. Of most of us haven't been invited or we haven't been nobody actually taught us to stay here we've been yeah. invited from the get-go to go out mm -hmm. so we're just learning that now actually yeah. yes. isn't it so um, put a little piece of paper in your pocket with ah you know write something beautiful on there that reminds you so mm -hmm. that's how i play when Ever it comes to mind, mm. I'm, I'm here, I am here, I am here, feet on mm. the ground, or yeah, all those beautiful things. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And it's a forever thing, that's how it seems. Mm. It's, yeah, nothing we can take for granted. There's always something that gets our systems excited. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the present green. moment or old stuff that comes triggering, I mean, just all of it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's huge what we're learning it's, and mm -hmm. what we have learned already. It's huge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, have fun tomorrow. No, on Monday. Oh. <laughs> but this this we at the the latest meeting with you because uh, on Monday I am at work. Yeah. Unfortunately, I cannot be here. But oh. in my heart, we will I feel you with you also. Yeah. We will feel you, Sandra. We oh, will thank feel you so much. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, oh no, thank you so much. You're part of the family, man. <laughs> yeah, and that feels actually so beautiful to be part of the family. Yeah, yeah. I, I just heard, you know, speak about trauma from an SE teacher who said that uh, relating to others in those times is so important, you know, to have the feeling that you are not alone. Yeah. And Exactly. It's so true, you know, to know we all hold hands mm -hmm. in that. Mm -hmm. Very so, important. Yeah. So thank you to you and to my family. And uh, there is a, a long queue, so I give it free to someone else. But thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> bye bye. <coughs> Hallo, Michael. Hallo. <laughs> Grit. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hear the German birds singing. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful music for me. <laughs> mm, for me too. <laughs> oh. There was some other noise <laughs> coming. <laughs> I was just enjoying the birds and then a hoover started or something. <laughs> and I could feel the resistance in my system. <laughs> mm. Preference for birds. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's okay. Bodies have preferences, most of our bodies. Yeah, I, I have a very open nervous system and <laughs> so very sensitive to noise. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I also notice when, when the idea uh, is coming in that uh, it should be different, then, <laughs> then it gets worse. Otherwise, it's just mm. <laughs> yeah. running. It's just, it's yeah. just another layer on top, huh? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Mm, yeah. So nice to feel you. Mm -hmm. Likewise, it's very nice to feel you too.
Thank you so much, Michael. Oh, thank you, Grit. Where are you from in Germany? Husum. Oh, in the north. <laughs> in the north, yeah. West coast, North Sea. Mm -hmm. Born in Husum, grown up in Milchstedt, but nobody knows that one. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Mm, thank you. Tschüss. Annette. Hello, Maike. Hey, Annette. Hello, everyone. Happy to see you, Maike. Mm -hmm. Happy to see you, too. Mm -hmm. Just like to be with you a few moments. Mm -hmm. With pleasure. Mm -hmm. It's so wonderful just to um, not having to be a certain way, not having to grasp in order to get what I really want. And it's just connecting. It's the best, isn't it? Yeah. Your gentleness is very soothing for my system. I got a headache and my body's cramped and there's hardness not knowing where it comes from. It was suddenly there this morning and uh, I'm just bathing in your gentleness. Mm. I could say the same, but I didn't mm. have a headache, but I'm bathing in your gentleness too, Annette. Mm, so it's there somewhere. Mm. I feel so invited in, in warmth and gentleness. Mm. Thank kindness. You. Kindness also. Very kind. Mm.
I'm feeling these energy currents of my head and my shoulders get a bit warmer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe more life coming up. <laughs> it's so funny because, you know, I'm having this impulse to just... Mm, good, yeah. Now I'm, now I'm just doing it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, thanks. Just going all around there. <laughs> I got that from my grandmother. She would always do that. Mm. When, when I had an owie as a child, she would just take my hand or wherever the owie was and she would say, schnell pusten. <laughs> <laughs> and it would always help. So somehow she comes quite often when stuff like that happens. So oh, it's funny doing that through the internet, but... I just got that impulse, so I do yeah. it. <laughs> I, I, I just feel the energy. You could feel I, I, it I also have the inclination to do things like this, you know? Yeah. Or, or when it's all too much yeah. space, yeah. and I just yes. do like that. And yes. So it's exactly. always the neck and the shoulders like this. On the yeah. But, uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, what a what a wonderful grandmother you had just uh, yes. Like that. It's so gentle. It's uh, yeah. yeah. You have but, not had but have, yeah. <laughs> oh it would always help. <laughs> yeah. Was I guess it was just also that presence, huh? Somebody yeah. would take care. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. With full attention. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you would feel it. It would cool, a little bit cool. I, I feel the headache moving, but it's sometimes it's gone and then it comes back. So, ah! <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, such a pleasure. Oh, okay. I can feel you feel it. That's good. <laughs> yeah. mm. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. Now the little one is, is, is coming up, really enjoying the... the yeah. This, uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. These simple things, huh? Yeah, but... So present, powerful, strong, powerful. Yeah. 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 This is just great. <laughs> so glad with the opportunity. Thanks to Eva also for always creating this. And yeah, I feel very blessed. Yeah, me too. Without Eva, this would not happen. I guess, yeah. Yeah, yes, yes. Mm. Thank you. So welcome. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bettina would like to speak. Bettina. Hello again. <laughs> Hello.
da kommt was hoch. Ich hatte auch eine Oma, die gepustet hat. Oh, she also had a, she also had a grandmother yeah. that um, was blowing. Und der ja. Gedanke dazu, das war aber weniger der Raum, dass es da sein darf, sondern dass es schnell wieder weggeht. Ah, oh, so was more that it quickly passes. That came up here. Hmm. Doesn't have to pass. It can stay. It's beautiful, Katina. Ich würde noch gerne äh, noch mal den Galerieansicht machen und Varesha ja. groß machen. Ja, mach Varesha groß. Ja. Hi Varesha. Eine dicke, 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 liebevolle Umarmung. Ja. Ja. <lacht> Risha actually said she just wanted to say one sentence because it's her birthday. Um, so maybe if because now Bettina announced anyway, so maybe we can take that moment. Risha, would you like to? 
Yes, thank you, Eva. I couldn't come in earlier yet. Mm. So it feels it's my happiest birthday ever. <laughs> With so lovely friends. So there's so much gratefulness and joy and connection. And the sentence I want to say, I'm doing a Tantra weekend with women and I just come out and then uh, what came out for me a message to women but also to men is let's live our wildness our joy our beauty or everything what we have let's live it finally and give it to the world now yeah that's it what I wanted to say. Thank you. Hello, Michael. Hi, now. Can you hear me? That's my microphone. Back. Yes, oh, I can hear you and I can see you. Thank you. For it. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks to all of you. You said then I could like this. Say again, Eva. Isabella would like to speak. I'm trying to understand. Isabella, where are you? <laughs> Hi, here I am. There, there you are. Hey, Isabella. I could not hear that. Could you? Can you say again? I said I just wanted to change my view so that I can see you on my screen. Uh, sorry, I now I can hear you. Say again oh, what you said. There was an interruption. I'm trying to stay in the sun. I'm a little cold, but I said I wanted to make you big on my screen. So I was changing oh. my view. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> it was very important. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I can tell. <laughs> mm -hmm.
Um, I'm exploring something. So I just want to move this so that I, I need the sun here, but I also want to see you. Sorry, so I'm just going to move around a bit. Um, there's, there's, a, there's a movement in myself that I've been um, exploring a lot um, lately, and it's uh, the best way for me to describe it is that, like that. And um, I came to see that, that it was the wound. It, at first, it's, I could see that it was the wound. It was like a shake out of my a prenatal trauma from my mother who was ill. Um, and slowly, slowly, I've come to see that it's also the gift. So it's, it's the intelligence <laughs> moving, mm. making the movement. And so I'm curious because I'm, I'm still exploring is, do we go out? Is there something that movement goes out and it's getting information and it comes back and we, we're integrating it here. So my question, mm. I'd like to hear what you think or what you see or any input is, I'm curious whether we, it's intuitive. What, so when we come back and we process what it is that we have found, if we can put it that way, is, is it intuitive what we see and we're moving towards it or are we creating it? Because you, in my twenties, I took too much LSD once and got an enormous download and I've spent the rest of my life trying to filter through that. And there was a very clear moment that life showed me that 98%, let's put it that way, of the time, we are not in control. And these things are just happening in us, to us, around us, life happening. But they, it felt like there was a slither in that moment where we contribute or where we, um, we do get to, to, to say what we want, if I can put it that way. Um, and then, you know, we let it go. But it, it comes back to that, are we intuitive or are we creating? Because there's a, there has to be a clean doer and understand that the rest of it is um, doing, which is not what we want to do. We're trying to get gently move away from the doing and moving in. I don't know. I'm going to stop there. Mm. Do, do, do you speak mm. more? That's clear? My, it's not a question that I need a definite answer. I'm, I'm curious uh, your thoughts on it and what you... See what you see, what you see, and what you pick mm. up. And... So, from the perspective of life, what mm. I can see that you know, in order to to life uh, in in order to a body, a, a human body, to complete itself, it needs another one, it needs a mother that shows the, the way. So we come with certain information, so there's certain information in the egg and in the sperm already, but then it needs a host where it can grow in and where it can complete itself. So and if it doesn't, can I... Can I interrupt there? Just some questions regarding that. So my, my exploration has also been a lot around seeing and, and exploring this, this tendency to, to, you know, it needs to attach, you know. So a young child, what, I, what it seems to me is that if two parents are attached to each other, that's the most healthy home in, environment because then the mother can just love both and give both to both. So when the parents are not securely, healthily attached to each other, it will attach, the child will attach. Okay, wait, I'm going to slow down. Um, say I didn't get that secure attachment. Say I didn't. Yeah, I did. I mean, I did get that. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I understand. Does it have to attach? It? No. Okay, now I'm going to stop. You go. Yeah, so, you know, attachment, healthy attachment doesn't mean clinging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you see that with animals very clearly. 
Mm. You know, if you've watched uh, horses with their foals or or dogs with their with their pups, puppies. Uh, so it, they are just they they regulate through the mother animal. They learn everything the mother animal has has learned so far. Mm -hmm. so, and and you know at first they are very at first they are in the belly of the mother, then they mm -hmm. come out, and with every step their nervous system learns, they mm -hmm. move a little further away until they are independent. Mm -hmm. So that would I would call that healthy attachment. So it's yeah. not clinging, you know. Yeah. Both, both. Those are, you know, on mm -hmm. both sides exactly. So human beings, at least our culture, our let's call it civilization culture, have most of us haven't had that. Yeah. Okay. So our nervous systems are still longing for certain completions, mm -hmm. which then later on, you know, as grown-ups, we look for that completion in our partnerships mm -hmm. or relationships, whatever you want to call that, or friendships. You know, if we don't have a partner, then we do that project onto our friendships or somewhere mm. to get this kind of information so that these little parts that never really got the completion so that they can do it by themselves mm. get it maybe from my man my wife my you know my whatever somebody out there and when we don't get it then we are very upset but mostly we are attracted to those systems who also don't have it because we don't even know what we're longing for because we haven't had that completion. Does it have to always be like that? Can we not also be attracted to the systems that, that do have that? That also has to be a natural way because our systems I can see are trying to regulate and balance. So it has to also be taking us to the places where we don't have the information and we need to discern that because i can see it gets attached easily to anything i mean i can see how my system attaches to the craziest stuff <laughs> you know objects i can tell i can mm. see and uh, mm. um so I'm but i also i mean I'm the fact really that i have found you okay so you you said so that I'm our system yeah. Okay. So you this is that just how it develops. That's just how our systems develop. You know, as far as I know, and also in my own experience, the moment uh, where my system, this micro system, did not get the information it needed to really grow fully into completion it will long for it and it will look for it until okay. it gets it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And, and, and until we can tell whether it's healthy or not, I mean, we need to learn whether it's healthy or not because I can see how my system gets attached to seemingly unhealthy, unhealthy things, yeah. you know? That's fantastic. That is a huge step. Most of the people on the planet don't even see that mm. so it's huge if there's that awareness that can see that mm. that's fantastic mm. and then hands off mm. oh <laughs> oh <laughs> or hands on huh yes <laughs> <laughs> good luck with that good luck mm. Yeah. yeah, that's my that's my curiosity is that so yeah. so have it on but in a conscious way because it knows that it's good mm. for it. Is that not a possibility? Mm, maybe. You know, who can who can tell you? Who can tell you, Isabella? Nobody can yeah, tell you that. I, I'm, only, I'm exploring that because yeah, I fantastic. Um, 
it feels like I find moments in my psyche or in my consciousness where it's almost like I can choose, choose. I can say yes. With the information, I know who's doing that. I understand that. But something is going yes. Fantastic. Yeah. See, but you know, in this exploration, there is no right or wrong. So we, you know, I can maybe go into agreement or not agreement, but to be honest, I have no clue. I just know how my system explores, but I can't tell you if there's a right or a wrong or, you know, with, with choosing, for example, we can have a conversation for my system, for example, uh, there is no choosing. It, it, whatever it is, chooses, but there's no, no one there that does it. But that's just how it looks from here. If it looks differently from your side, then, you know, fine, oh, fine with me. I'm curious about what you've just said, because what, what, mm. it, what comes to me now is, is the stillness. You know, there's what, I've, what I feel and sense in you is a really huge stillness. Yeah. And my interest is that. Mm. And so it's almost like it's now coming from that side and what you're saying, you know, so my question is, does this, the stillness finds us, but it feels like there is a little dance that we, that we do in order for it to find us. Yeah, so there again, I would say every system has a little different uh, approach to everything. And I can only say how it's been here and how it's still here. As long as my personal system was looking for completion somewhere and unconsciously, because it, I mean, it took a long time to even find out uh, that it didn't feel complete. Yeah, it yeah. was it was not it was not possible to be quiet really quiet it was not possible because there was so much movement and so much looking for completion that it could not be still even though there you know so for my personal system only through it completing itself slowly but surely and it's still doing it the silence that was always there got bigger yeah if that makes sense that's beautiful mm -hmm. before there was always an aspect at least one if not a thousand that was screaming 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 my god i need Thing here I need oof, something that I never got and I don't know where to get it and it would always end up in so-called relationships where I was looking for it and always came out disappointed and again didn't get it so that ended also you know when that became clear then relationships weren't interesting anymore. Not in the way they were interesting before, you know, all that attraction stuff and, you know, because it seemed like it was always attracted to those where it could not get this completion. And of course, because it didn't even know what it was looking for. So it has been a huge process. And the more... And so Say again. So what you say, that, you know, no one can, you have to complete that within yourself. I mean, you, no one can give you that completely. Mm, no, not, not really, you know. And then be able to. So there's been just a huge learning and, you know, how all of a sudden reflections or people come into your life that um, bring gifts. Or you receive gifts somehow, so, oh, little seeings here and there, where something completes itself by chance, by grace, by luck. 
And you think, wow, something is different now in the system. And that's happening for everyone differently. I can see that because, you know, I've, with all our friends, so I see every system, you know, as a tiny different approach to, to, what, mm, to what completes them, let's say it like that. And, and we have similarities, you know, I see also this relationship stuff. Oh man, it's so obvious. <laughs> 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 From where I'm looking now, you know, it's like, okay, there it goes again. And now I can see it when with others. It's like, wow, good, been that, done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then, I mean, in my personal story, yeah, it's just been very, very fortunate. All of a sudden, some beings came in that had just the right gift at the right time. So something, yeah, made a big next step. And then you all of a sudden, just, it just does that. It just does that, yeah. I, mean, I just know it's at least in my system, you know, that's how my system experiences and speaks. And because I know other systems speak differently, but my system, my personal system speaks. Um, I could not have chosen that. There's not one piece in my life where I could have said, oh, yes, that's how I would have cho chosen it. It just came by grace mm, mm. and wow I'm on my knees I could not have chosen that not one little bit yeah and the more it opens into silence or completion whatever you want to call that the more it's clear I could not have chosen this I could not so now I can see the more it's getting, you know, that which always wants to put hands on is getting out of the way, the more it completes itself. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then there was the turning point. You know, first it was just drinking and drinking wherever, from wherever the gift, the nectar came. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden, the nectar is coming out here. So it feeds itself. It's quite interesting how that happens mm. by itself. Mm. And my, my most favorite image for that is a mother and child breastfeeding where giver and receiver disappear, where <laughs> You know, I saw that with my, my stepdaughter when, with her little baby. And I was like, wow, who do I want to be? The mama or the baby, you know? And then I was like, both. I want to be both because I saw it was a union, you know? I could see, I could feel there was no, no giver, no receiver. And that's, you know, when that happens, wow. So we covered a lot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm processing. We're, tw I'm we're 20 <laughs> minutes late. <laughs> but I think everybody's okay with that. <laughs> yeah, you know how that is. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you. It's uh, very inspiring, this conversation. Beautiful. Love that. Yeah, me too. Mm. Love you. Always. Love you too. Always. <laughs> to be continued.
<laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Happy exploration. <laughs> It's okay like this, Isabella? Oh, my beautiful people, family, beings, sweethearts. Lovely to hang out with you all. Love and peace until we meet again. Huh? Shall we? <laughs> mm.